Hello, let's discuss about IQ modulation today. So, and in an example, let's go through idea of IQ modulation. So for this, let's clear everything first. Clear. And let's close all the figure features. And let's set uh, properties of our, of our signal. signal. Let's say that our harmonics will rotate four times in a second, let's say, here in hertz, which means that in hertz. And let's simulate 1,000 points. If we have 1,000 points, let's consider one second. And within one second, we will have 1,000 uh, snapshots. So which means that dt will be the point one divided by n seconds. And let's run our time from zero to set snapshot number thousand. Which means that n minus one multiplied to our dt delta t. Yep. Now let's work on i and q modulation. Let's say that we want to transmit EXI amplitude in in phase, which can be any arbitrary number, let's say take seven, and transmitted q is gonna be let's say three. Okay, so let's display this disk. I I equal to no the str. If you want to display numbers, then you need to use this function no the str to x i and let's display our t transmitted quadrature amplitude not an amplitude of quadrature same norm to str transmit. We transmitted TXI equals to seven, TXP equals to three. Now let's continue. In order to, trans to transmit this I and Q, I and Q, we need to modulate it with in phase function, which will be cosine to multiply to pi to our frequency, which is equivalent to four and multiply to t. Okay, so now our q quadrature function is same function, but with 90 degree of shift, which is pi divided by two, half of pi. Okay. And if we, plot them. Oh, don't forget, if you want to plot two figures in one, two plots in one figure, then you need to use hold on. I and plot here. You. you can see that cosine function is blue, and then uh, shifted 90 degree cosine function is in red. So let's um, now modulate I and Q, which is TXI multiplied to I plus TX Q multiplied to Q. So what we do did is exactly we take amplitude of I multiplied to cosine function plus in amplitude in quadrature multiplied to cosine plus half of pi. Yep. So let's plot it. So you can see that. And let's add legends. 
in phase one two and I and Q modulated sigma. So you can see that our cosine function, 90 degree shifted cosine function, and IQ modulated signal with 7 and 3. So on the receiver side, on the receiver side, so we transmit this signal, I and Q, over the air, and we, let's say, receive on the receiver side. So on the receiver side, receiver just perform almost the same operations and this is called as demodulation. So demodulation is done as let's give some theory. So we have signal which is equivalent to let's say some number multiplied to in phase function plus some number multiplied to uh, to uh, quadrature function. We know that E1 and E2 are orthogonal. And actually we can check it. If we take I and multiply it to Q, we need to trans transpose Q. It will be almost negative or almost zero. And because of uh, because of some uh, numerical issues, yeah, numerical issues, we don't get exactly zero. But however, yeah, we can use this knowledge. So I and Q are orthogonal, which means that if we receive S and we want to reconstruct A, then we need to multiply S to E1. In that case, if we open brackets, then a multiplied to E1 multiplied to E1 plus EB multiplied to E2 multiplied to E1. And as you can see here, here, this should be norm square uh, squared norm. But here we should have zero. Yeah? So what we will get A multiplied to norm E1 square plus zero. So, and from here we can con we can make a conclusion that in order to reconstruct A, say that here we have some factor. In order to reconstruct A, we need to divide as multiplied to E1 divide to normalization factor k. Let's calculate this k and uh, for this one we calculate norm i, which is what is norm i? i multiplied to i transpose and if you're wondering if i norm i and norm q are different then we can make all also we can check. So and you can see that Norm I, 500, norm Q, 500. They are similar numbers, so which is which should be exactly similar. So since they are equivalent, we can call this uh, as normalization factor K, norm I. Okay. Now let's receive our, reconstruct our signal Rx I, as we did here. Yeah. We need to multiply our IQ to in phase function. So IQ multiply to in phase function. This RXQ should multiply IQ should multiply to quadrature function. And don't forget your normalization factor A. Let's see what we will get if we do this operation. Then you can see TXI was seven and received signal I. Amplitude value of in phase is 
seven. So let's go further and display them. In for displaying, we can just copy paste this one. So and it says up here, so we put Rx and QRx instead of TXQ, RxQ, RxQ. And finally, you should get what you need. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.